So this blue apron meal was the cumin Sichuan peppercorn beef with ramen noodles. Uh, this was a really easy meal to prep. Um, the only things that we cut ended up being this broccoli and the garlic, and we mixed a couple of sauces, browned up some ground beef, and tossed it on top of the noodles. Really nothing complex about this at all, really a straightforward dish. It's also the first time I did garlic right. Um, so previously I've been cutting off the head of the garlic before trying to smash it. You can see here that I did go ahead and smash it first and then cut that head off, which made it much more easy to pull the whole skin off. Um, there was a couple of things where I tried to get it chopped. I'm still not very good at chopping small things, but it was much, much faster to get the paper uh, wrapper off of the garlic than it usually is. You can see here we're mixing in that sauce and going to add in a little bit of water here to have that. That's going to be our sauce that goes on top of the beef in order to fill up the ramen. And now working on cooking that broccoli. Now the broccoli is going to get salted and peppered and so it goes. Um, one thing you'll see here is I do actually use the stove burners on the far side. The unused ones is kind of a, a staging area. Uh, you can see I put my ingredients there. Don't do that if you've used the burners. Do be aware of that because um, you don't want to be at risk of a fire and those burners will stay hot. Um, so we Briefly here, I did consider trying to put out a second pan and try to cook the beef in parallel. Um, I realized after starting that that it was really going to mess up my timing with everything else. Blue Apron's actually really good about timing. Um, and here's where I make, I think, my biggest mistake of this meal as far as safety goes, is that when I finish up this broccoli, I go ahead and put that paper towel right on the burner. Don't do that. Um, that burner is hot, that metal there is hot, and a paper towel is an easy thing to, you know, potentially start a fire that I don't want to deal with. So that was a big mistake. Definitely be aware of that and don't do that kind of thing. Um, I didn't even realize it at the time. So it's really something you have to be aware of constantly so you don't make mistakes like that. We're now just working on this beef. We got a little bit of seasoning in there. We got the garlic in there and just browning down that ground beef. Nothing really complex here. Like I said, this one was a pretty easy meal. We got a little bit more pepper, pepper, pepper in there to spice it up. Our ramen is complete at this point. And uh, we're, we're just about ready here to kind of mix this all in. Um, so the biggest thing that makes this meal different, the biggest thing that made this meal better in my mind was the flavor profile of the sauce. So that's not something that I had a lot to do with. Um, obviously that's something that, you know, comes directly from Blue Apron like that. You can see we're mixing that up here and going to pour that in. Um, I did just kind of simmer this down a little bit, trying to get rid of a little bit of the kind of liquid in the sauce so it would kind of stick to the noodles and the everything better. I do wish I had chopped up the broccoli a little bit smaller. Had I realized what I was going to do with it, I definitely would have tried to chop up more of those florets. But overall, it worked out fine. You know, uh, I did have a little bit of trouble serving ramen. You know, noodles are all stick together and it felt like a lot of food. I think it was a lot of food, but it was delicious. Both Julie and I ate it and loved it. Um, even as someone who doesn't like spice, she really enjoyed the flavor profile of it. Um, and, and it was great. It's definitely been my favorite meal from Blue Apron so far. And it's one of the easiest and fastest to cook and uh, I, I was a big fan. So that's the seventh meal I cooked from Blue Apron.